Honorable Chair, our greatest asset in this country is not the minerals in our soil, but the youth of our nation. Children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward from him. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth. The Jewish writer and psalmist King David recognizes the potency of youth and the promise it holds for, it holds for the future. For the purposes of this debate, the ACDP wish to focus on key drivers and barriers to build resilience and sustainability. The biggest barrier is the lack of coherence in initiatives at the community level. Reaching the youth on a 365 day basis should become our biggest commitment to drive change that will be sustainable. In my constituency that includes the rural Karua, it is evident that we suffer from a lack of creativity and coherence to ensure that we reach young people in their environment. Our best efforts are wasted when there is no coherence in the programs we drive at local, provincial, and national level. I come from recruitment. And if you want to be successful in your aims, you have to have a targeted approach and a well-defined plan. We have none. We speak past each other, as we are doing this morning, as key role players that are critical linkages in the chain to reach the youth. As I said yesterday, we lack a national consensus to focus on the critical social issues that hampers our nation. Young people are our biggest and most valuable asset. Lavender Hill and Beaufort West are vastly different communities with one commonality. Our youth dropout rate at late primary and early, early high school years. When you drive through the, uh, through the Karua, Beaufort, Victoria West, you find young people standing at garages begging for food or for money. The best time of their life wasted. We are losing the youth at the most critical stage of their development. What must we do? This country does not lack money. It lacks creative focus. We must create catchment areas and programs for youth that dropped out from school. Link the child, the youth, to a program in his immediate environment. Reduce the days that the child or a young person is out of learning and development. The task, C.S. Lewis says, of the mod modern educator is not to cut down jungles, but to irrigate deserts. Let us irrigate the deserts at the Cape Flats, the central Karoo, with a central and laser sharp focus to reach young people. And let me say, on the next 16th of June, break up parliament and have it in our communities, in Lavender Hill, in the Karoo, in the rural areas, and speak to our young people, not to each other. Thank you.